A 12 year old child came to the OPD with his mother and explains the doctor and shows him his tongue is red and inflamed. Doctor looks for signs like angular stomatitis, seboric dermatitis which were present. Doctor asks his junior resident to write a workup for the activity of glutathione reductase in RBCs which fun functional index is being talked about, which vitamin deficiency is being talked about, right. So obviously all is fitting into riboflavin deficiency. So there are four options here and answer to this question is A that is riboflavin deficiency. What are the pointers here? The question is the child is having angular stomatitis and uh, angular dermatitis uh, that is also called as and uh, fissures and inflammation at the angle of the mouth is also called as perlache. Secondly, the child is having a red inflamed tongue. Thirdly, the child is having a seboric dermatitis like rash on the scalp and so you should suspect B2 deficiency that is riboflavin deficiency in these patients. For that we always go in for RBC glutathione reductase assay. You know that B2 is a component of flavin mononucleotide and flavin adenine dinucleotide. It is involved in redox reactions and it is an important aspect, important component. It is involved in the glutathione reductase as well as xanthine oxidase activity. So the, these uh, enzyme activities will be reduced in riboflavin deficiency and so you can go in for clinical analysis along with checking the activity of glutathione reductase in RPC level.